Larry Tate, when is this going to end? Right now, friend. <clears throat> Attention, please. No one should be mean to my BFF, oh. Alex Russo. <laughs> you don't have to have lunch with her. I've got that cup. World, we are here at the Improv Trick. I have two guys with me. Donnie and Blake, the Tom Brown. Yeah, hey, the um, Tom Brown. Is that what you said? Tom uh, Brown is he should Tom be Brown? a stand-up comic. He teaches class. He's an improv guy. He keeps us together. He's our glue. <laughs> so why are we sitting and out here in the lobby, guys? Explain that to me. He is supposed to be, uh, there's this guy named Mark Pruder, um, and he, that's the guy that manages the improv trick who's not here, yeah. and Tom is the Mark Pruder Wrangler. Uh, well, I called him, and he's on his way. Uh, he told me to be here at 10. I was here at 10, even though I got up only 20 minutes earlier and even showered. Uh, but at about now 10.30, he is still not here. Uh -huh. So, but he is on his way. Yeah, I assure you that. Is he a suspicious character, Tom? Do I need to be on my guard for this Mark Pruder guy when he walks through the door? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Man. Oh, Donnie, what do you have to say to all of this? Oh, I just want to say I'm really proud of, if you all will notice, I've worked my way up to an official Benita Show producer hat. I have bamboozled and oh, finagled my little way, uh, 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 smirking oh. and trying to be helpful. Uh, one of the things I did was wiping up my own coffee stain. Um, and uh, so I'm also involved with the improv trick. So I feel really special today, uh, but I'll stick with the Benita Double Show Benita. hat. I don't think there's an improv hat. I've, someone, I think someone made one especially for himself. I've seen an improv trick hat. It looked cool. It had the little logo on it and all. Huh. Yeah. Let's see the back of your hat, Donnie. You know, it says something on the back. You gotta show it off, man. It says, let's see, the Benita Show presenting positive artists in a positive light. You know what, Benita? I have spent a lot of time. Are you ADHD, Donnie? Yes, and, I, and I'm and Are you, are you really? Yes, I spent Because you can even be still so I can get the back of the hat. I'm just curious. I don't, oh! <laughs> Your I'm head. Tell you. I've Your never head. heard anybody say, can I please see the back Look, of your you're head? you still, you're still moving. You're still moving. <laughs> okay, it says uh, presenting positive artists in a positive light on YouTube, Vimeo, and the Roku Network, The Benita Show, okay. Oh, what I was going to say is I spent a lot of time being fabulous. I've never had anybody say, can I see the back of your head? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't look at the back of my head. I have no idea what it looks like myself. I don't, you know, I just want to see the back of the head. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> oh, you really don't want, yeah, I thought this was a show about everyone's back of the head for a second. I, 
Now we got worried. You, you got worried. So now here at the improv trick, tell me a little bit about what you, what you do. I know you're an instructor, to Mr. Tom Brown. Yeah. I currently teach an intro class to improvisation for people who are interested in improv or always wanted to give it a shot or... or Hold on one want... second. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, let's... Oh, yeah. oh. There is... Oh. We were just talking about you in oh. hushed tones. Oh. There is the suspect. Oh, I like it. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> what do you guys think about this, this guy? He's super duper. <laughs> Are you ready for me now, Mr. Pruder? I, I, give me one second. We're going to bring in Josh. Okay. And then we're ready. Okay. Wow. Sounds good. All I'll, right. I'll be right here waiting on you. I'm going to be right here. <laughs> okay. Be right here, too. Okay. Super duper. I, you heard it. A super yes. duper. <laughs> That's what they said. Anything else you guys want to say behind Mark Pruder's back while yeah, he's, he's, while he's not here? <laughs> I, I, you know what? Uh, there's not much I would say behind his back that I wouldn't say in front of it, so. Oh, I do. So true. I do. I'm just having fun. Yeah. All right, then. Well, we're going to wait for lights, camera, and action and see what the pruder man has to say. All right. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of The Bonita Show. I am here in downtown St. Louis at the Improv Trick, where we have Mr. Tom Brown and Mr. Mark Pruder. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I'm so glad that you guys have taken the time to come on the Benita Show and talk about what you guys do down here at the Improv Trick. Tell the world about the Improv Trick. I'm going to turn this one over to Tom, because <laughs> Tom actually does more than I do. Oh, wow. Uh, well, uh, at the Improv Trick, uh, we perform improvisational comedy, uh, comedy that's made up uh, on the spot based on suggestions from the audience. Uh, we primarily do uh, what's known as in the improv would be a short form improv, uh, which is uh, improv based on uh, game, uh, short games like you might see on the show, Whose Line Is It Anyway, uh, such as Next Choice, Blind Line, uh, where we you know, have, a, have a, you know, a scenario set, set up built in, into the game that help us create humor. Okay, so you all, I know you teach, right? You yes, teach improv, teach improv here, yeah. and then you actually go showcase it at different Venues, yeah. Oh, uh, we've uh, recently had shows uh, over in uh, St. Charles. We have a weekly show uh, here in St. Louis and South City, uh, and then various other venues as well. You know, depending on who wants us to win. Which venue? Oh, we're at Lemons every. <laughs> yeah, we're at Lemons every Tuesday in South Gravelay. Okay, Lemons every Tuesday. Yeah. South, okay. We don't get the plug-in. I don't get a free pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gotta get them their free pizza. Yeah, that's important. Uh, tell the world what improv is. A lot of people, you know, if you're not an actor, actress, you don't know improv. So, kind of explain what improv is. Uh, it's, uh, it's act, acting without a script. Right. Uh, you go up there, off, the just off with audience suggestions, and you create scenari uh, scenarios with, with your fellow actors, and hopefully build something magical. Base it all off of yes and, just agree with everything. <laughs> the most interesting things come from agreement, not conflict. Right. Good, good, good. And that's, that's the Benita show, too. So we do all improv. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's why we're on the show. Yeah. That's, that's, that's scripted. Well, Mark, I met you while we were doing some shooting at Rue Lafayette Cafe a couple mm -hmm. weeks ago. So tell us about how you got involved with improv. See, that was how she got in the yeah, Rue Lafayette Cafe. Yeah, see that. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't sure, you know, what we could plug or what we couldn't, so. Plug it all. Plug, Plug it, it all. all yeah. It's all positive. That's right. It's all positive. Yes, uh, I met you there. You were doing uh, some shootings with uh, Donnie Blake, who's behind the camera. Mm -hmm. Hi, Donnie Blake. <laughs> and uh, Rick Gary. Yeah. And what we uh, primarily do in this location here, this is where we do most of our teaching, although we do do some of our student showcases here as well. Mm -hmm. So our classes usually run about four weeks, and then the fifth week, I call it the fifth class because that's the performance, mm -hmm. but it's just as much a class as anything else because then you get to see what an audience thinks of what you've done here. You invite you invite a lot of people out when you do the, um, the final class? We invite the friends and family, the people who are most interested in seeing people succeed. In the case of some of our younger students, they're the ones who write the checks, so oh. we want to let them know that their, their money has been well spent okay. and they should spend more. <laughs> okay. 
find out how to spend more money, go to www.theimprovtrick.com. Good. Good plug. Yeah. Very good plug. Hit it. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, Bill caught. Uh, uh, it was, this is his idea. He 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 founded Improv Trick, correct? This is Bill's baby. Okay. Uh, Bill did this six years ago. Bill Cott, uh, some of your younger viewers or parents with younger uh, children would certainly know him as Mr. Larry Tate from the Disney show Wizards of Waverly Place. Right. And with Selena Gomez. Okay. And he's also been in a lot of movies, various television shows. He used to do a uh, voiceover for Saturday Night Live and still does for the ambiguously gay duo. Okay. okay. Started on the Dana Carvey show, which was awesome. And she was an actor on a great show. I love that. You can see it on uh, Hulu still. Okay. All six episodes of it. All six episodes. All six episodes. Died way too young. What's the name of it again? The, uh, the Dana Carvey Show. Okay. And it was a show with a very good cast. It had Steve Carell, Stephen Colbert. Um, Dana Carvey, I think, was in that. Yeah, Dana Carvey way with it in that. Uh, uh, Robert Schmeigel. Bill Cobb. Bill Cobb. Man, well, I tell you, the Benita Show is really are touching the surface of something really big. I mean, being at the Improv Trick, and you guys have been here how many years? I've been here three years. Three years? I've been here around the world. Okay, now how long has the Improv Trick been here? The Improv Trick has existed for six years. Six years. And we're actually doing our sixth annual Christmas Jam, which is a okay. fundraiser for the St. Louis uh, Food Bank, mm -hmm. uh, November, December 23rd oh. at the Mardark Gallery. And okay. its admission is only a canned good. But it's Where, where's it going to be at again? The Mad Art Gallery. Mad Art Gallery. Where is that located? Boy, it's in Soulard. In Soulard? Okay. Yeah, I don't remember the exact street, but it's in Soulard. It used to be a police station. It still looks like one. Okay. It's December 23rd. December 23rd. We're gonna, they're gonna be, Improv Trick is going to be there. And it's a family-friendly show. So you can bring people of all ages, 8 to 80. Okay. And uh, we have a 50-50 raffle, and then again, proceeds go to benefit the St. Louis Food Drive, and that'll be our sixth one that we're doing this year. Now, the Improv Trick, and that's awesome. It's going to be awesome. Um, um, Giving back to the community from the improv trip, really great. Thank you for doing that. So um, we, all a lot of actors come through here for training, for improvisation, right? The improvisation is very is a very important skill. We talk about auditioning for commercials and comedy and auditioning for roles on soap operas or whatever the case may be. So we thank you all for being here and doing what you do. And uh, well, thank you for doing what you do. <laughs> Oh, you're welcome, you're welcome. And it's so awesome to be here in a place that was created by Bill Cott, who's a big name. You guys watch the, the Waverly Place? Wizards of Waverly Place. The Wizards of Waverly Place. Thank you, Larry. seconds of seeing your target or you lose your nerve. Hey there. Hey there. Hey there. Sorry to bother you. I was just curious. Did you happen to see what just happened outside? Listen, you gotta put yourself out there. You're never gonna get any. Just another frustrated chump. Chicks are gonna dig a guy that's just a little bit of a jerk. You know, say something slightly disparaging and they're there for the take. You want me to tell you what you're thinking right now? Actually, I'm waiting for my boyfriend. Wrong! You want uh, a shot of something? No, I want you to go away. Do you mind? No, not at all. I'm Pete. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for you for like 20 minutes. I would like you to meet my boyfriend. Boyfriend? And the happiest two and a half years of my life, I can assure you. See you around. The Stephanie girl, I really feel something for her. What do you do for work? Please. Nobody ever asks that question unless they're just trying to get in your pants. You're starting to sound like a guy that's getting kind of serious there. Could it be that player Pete has finally met his match? Yeah, rom-com this, rom-com that. Why do you even care? Because it's the same dumb story every time. Girl meets guy, they fall in love. I don't normally do this kind of thing. Oh, you're not a big cook? <laughs> I, I never would have guessed that. The guy does something dumb. Yeah, share it. Uh, <clears throat> how are you? And the girl dumps him, and the guy has this epiphany, and then the girl goes, okay, whatever, and then they get together, they go home, they live happily ever after. This isn't going to work, Pete. We are so through. Whoa, 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 back up a second. 
Hey, Stephanie, me, it's Pete. You think you're breaking up with me? I'm breaking up with you! How do I delete this? I need to prove to her that I am unafraid of any barriers whatsoever. I will do whatever it takes to prove to her the mistake that she's made. I think you need to write this one off, Pete. Just let her go. Forget about it. Oh, God. Not you again. What do you think she wants? What, what does she want from me? I think what she wants from you is to leave her alone. Are you following me? No, no, no. It's, it's a poem. I wrote this for you. I've, I've acted according to my heart here, you know? I mean, that kind of thing doesn't come easy for guys like me. You have to throw on the towel in this room. You can't keep stalking her like this. This is about stalking. And stalking is about love. Nice, yeah, that looks really good. I, I don't know, I think it looks terrible. But that could just be me. I'm just not that into romantic comedies. Yeah, rom-com. Pretty lame. Yeah, <laughs> totally. <laughs> Same dumb story every time. Plays anything else he got going on? Well, right now he's touring in the I Love Lucy live show where he okay. plays uh, Fred Mertz. So he looks just like him too. They got the perfect person for it, didn't they? Yeah, he should have <laughs> got the part of Curly, which he was up for because he does a great Curly in Fred. Oh, and um, how often do you guys have classes here? We have classes. Every five weeks. Every we teach time. classes for four, do the showcase, and then we start again. Right. What time? What time are the classes? We do them Monday nights at 7.30, Wednesday nights at 7.30, and Sundays at, at 3 o'clock. Okay. Okay, that's good, that's good. Anything else you guys want to tell the world about the improv trip? We're awesome. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Love it. So, funny. We, we also, if people can't afford classes, we, there's no reason never to take a class with us. We have internships. Where if you have time, that's as valuable to us as as money. Uh, we will work with anybody to be able to take classes. We have them for all ages. We have them for middle school people, high school people, oh. adults, uh, everybody. Okay, great, great. So hopefully the world will hear more about the improv trip from the Benita Show. And I gotta come down and film some of your classes and sessions. Yes, you do. Like the final day, maybe or something. We just gotta come down and do that. Well, um. What, one more thing, you guys won an award, a mastermind award with the Riverfront Times? Yes, we did. We also made the uh, St. Louis Magazine's A-list as well. Ah, tell us about that. Well, that was two years ago, and okay. so now we're alum mastermind alumni, so we get to be there every year. And we really do like working with the RFT this year for the award. We did a little flash mob mm -hmm. where we threw up an impromptu modeling carpet mm -hmm. and just in the middle of the event, and it was... It was fun. We had one of our people on a stepladder for no good reason other than it seemed like the right thing to do to at that time. <laughs> Love you, Aaron O'Brien. Uh, <laughs> That's funny. I thought I saw 2010. You guys, what happened in 2010, 2010? Was that the year that, it might have been, the, I think it was the A-list we got in 2010. Okay, okay. And in 2009, we got the Mastermind Master Awards, okay. which is only for, they only picked four groups okay. in St. Louis, and they're all local artists. Mm -hmm. And I was honestly surprised because improv, in most cities, I've been doing this for over 20 years, does not usually get recognized in arts awards. So really? I really have to, the RFT just surprised us with that phone call. I had no idea we were up for it or being considered. And we were one of four masterminds, uh, mainly for work you know, in the Cherokee area, uh, trying to make classes accessible for everyone. And the fact, I think, that we have been around for six years, a lot of a lot of improv theaters, you know, struggle, you know, and they open and close all the time. But uh, Bill's been committed to keeping this open, even though he spends most of his time in Los Angeles. And I see they have one. They have one. They have an improv trick in California. They have one. New York, maybe. They have just LA right now. Just yeah, LA. There is an improv trick in LA where Bill spends most of his time uh, trying to uh, help the LA actors and work on. But this is where it started, okay. actually. It started in St. Louis, then moved to LA. Not the other way around. You heard it. That's, That's right. I'm sure you right heard here. it. Yes, yes. 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 St. Louis is gonna be the next Hollywood. We call it Midwood. Have you yeah. seen on my other shows? We talk about Midwood all the time. So the improv trick started here in St. Louis, and then he did another one in LA. Right. So Usually it goes the other direction. Exactly. This is, this okay. is a this is a St. Louis based company here. The, there you go. Bill Cott started here, guys. From here. So. You went to high school here. Ha! World. 
I can't even say that. Yeah. What? Me either. I didn't go to St. Louis or high school here. Me either. Uh, I, I just. Need, I need to find another teacher. <laughs> I'm like, me either. I'm just a squirrel trying to get a nut in St. Louis. <laughs> Showcasing our St. Louis artist. But, well, I'm glad you both came here. Oh, thank you. I'm glad to be well, here. Anything else you guys want to add before, before we shut it down? We've got a nice post from Bates here, advertising improv trick. Bill Cosmo wanted to post it. I want to say thank you to the Benita audience for, for watching us. And if you ever want to make a call and it's not scrolling, it's 314 922 1998. It'll scroll. <laughs> that goes straight to Tom's uh, cell phone. Tom, Tom's got his phone. It's right here. At 314 922 1998, www.theimproftrick.com. Single. <laughs> oh, he's single. Bye, world. Love you. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Hey kid. Hi. I haven't seen you around here. That's what outfit you got on. Uh, you. you some kind of entertainer or something? Actually, I'm NASA Nate. I'm a filmmaker. John, the pawn shop guy. Filmmaker? I know a guy that you need to meet. Donnie the Cyburn guy. Donnie? Yeah. What's he like? He's very different. We just got done getting some establishing shots at Tiffany's Diner. There's a piece I'm doing that's going to be on the Benita Show where I give my dating advice, which is funny because I don't have very good dating skills. But we all have to start giving advice somewhere. So I was so excited that I was too loud in there and got thrown out. I treat the Tiffany's Diner like my own living room and office, working a lot of business calls while I got banned on using the phone. Um, and then I was too loud in there with my business, bothering Ashley, who I've decided is starring in this because she's the hottie in the story. She's the hottie that Donnie's trying to ask out. Hey, this is Donnie World. Sometimes I don't know the difference between what TV and reality is. Hey, spirit guy. Beer guy, please ride in front of my car. Yay! Wow, look at him! Yay! Stay there, spirit guy. He is an unwilling shaman. I named him Spirit Guy. He had, all right, and he's from the diner. You gonna get that? Nah. I never answer that guy. Keeps prank calling me. Some guy named Text. I answered it once because I thought it was my buddy, Tex. But there was nobody there. Many thanks to Bill Cott and the guys down at the Improv Trick, V. Tom Brown and Mark Prudence. Stay tuned for a sneak peek at what's coming up next with Ron Rainey on The Bonita Show. I made a play for your affection, but it's a game I cannot win. We can't call it quits until we begin. You say you caught me staring, and then I'm guilty as sin. We can't call it quits until we begin. Everything is fuss and fight, black and white and wrong and right. I'm getting very tired.
coming up on the next episode of The Bonita Show, Ron Ramey in words and action. Just Being Me with your host, Benita Arsenault. Okay, conversate is not a word. It's converse. Conversate is not a word. Okay. If you say the word conversate, you're an ignorant. Okay, have a nice day. <laughs> Put your mustard colored suit on in your green gaiters and go out there, man. <laughs> when can we expect that money? I said, the day you get it. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> and call me so I know you got it. <laughs> And he said, well, we will come to your house. I said, Mother, Mother Shucker, come on. Left. Come on. <laughs> and I got chalk. All right. Uh, <laughs> this is what I do. This is, and, and it's not a fellow. It's not some grand scheme. This is what I do. <laughs> St. Louis. I saw him at a Chuck Berry thing when they uh -huh. opened the statue, and there was Chuck and a statue. Uh -huh. He's everywhere in St. Louis, and of course, he is here at the 10th annual pageant event of Stephen Davis. Could you could you tell me a little about tonight and Photo Joe? Photo Joe the person. Photo Joe the camera. Just photo. photo Joe. I like to capture and help the artists in our town of St. Louis because there's not many people out there that are willing to help the local artists who can't afford a photographer or a videographer. So I'm trying to help them on their way for a career. And we also like to help out new stars. We've got a few young people in this town that are starting to make it, like our drummer, Michael Saffron, my godson, Darian. He is right now in LA getting ready to cut two songs to make it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Similar to what I do, helping, helping out our local artists. That's awesome stuff. I look forward to doing some more work with you, Photo Joe. Thank you, Vinny. And thank you, Appreciate Peter. your time. Thank you. Thanks, Johnny. Much love to you guys. Thanks. Hi, we're all we're Hi here. This is Benita Show here at the pageant. I am with Thomas Dickey, better known as Buddy Polly. How was it out there tonight? Buddy? It was fantastic. The crowd. Looks just like Buddy Holly, doesn't it? Go ahead. Go ahead. The crowd was fantastic. Um, it's always a pleasure to see them sing along with the songs that we're doing. It's just a real great honor to be working with Mr. Steve Davis. You guys had a packed house tonight. Had a packed house. Rocked the crowd. It was a great show. Thank you so great much. Show. Thanks for coming to sing. Pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Say bye to the world. Bye, Benita Show. Bye, world. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey, Mike. Would you like to be interviewed? Thank you so much. I'm a fan. Thank you. Thank you. It is. It's a. It's a. It's, a, it's your no, trenches. You stay right where you're at, baby. I mean that. You just keep doing what you're doing. Something's gonna break. I know this. It's the darkest the stars show. This camera. <laughs> Sound.